At this place in history, we're getting schooled in Bridport. I'm with Steve Perkins, the executive director of the Vermont Historical Society. Well, hi, Amanda. So hi. we're in Bridport. We're at this really cool schoolhouse, and it's cold out here. So <laughs> I think we should go inside. A, a member of the family that restored the schoolhouse is here to talk to us. So Hawthorne Schoolhouse, Bridport, Vermont. Let's go inside. Let's warm up. And now we're inside the Hawthorne Schoolhouse, and we're with Erin Connor, and she's one of the family members that restored this one-room schoolhouse. Yes. Tell us a little bit about where we are. Yeah, so we're in the one-room schoolhouse. I was actually in diapers when it was getting restored, but now I'm all grown up, so I have my chance to help my parents out but this is it um, students of all ages um, all ethnicities would come throughout Bridport and Addison County to come to school here and it wasn't just used for school it was used for town meetings um, if they had a, a church gathering once in a while they'd come here but this is really the history the rich history of of our small town right here so I, I saw the sign outside, so it, it's Hawthorne without a W, actually right. it's spelled with a W, so how to get the name and why the different spellings? Yeah, so it's actually pronounced Hawthorne, and back in the olden days, uh, the teacher would have really, really nice handwriting, and so people kind of misinterpreted her handwriting with the W, and back then it was pronounced Hawthorne, but we, um, since then we've transcribed it, we've learned that it's actually pronounced Hawthorne now, um, but some of the writing was very, very nice, has, you know, Nowadays, I don't think we have kids with nice handwriting anymore, but yeah, so that's the history. So how many ages of, of, of kids were in here? Was this like kindergarten through eighth mm -hmm. grade? Or I mean, what, how, what did it look like? It was kids of all ages. And you graduated once you learned to read and write. So you can be in high school or you can be in kindergarten. It was just how fast you could learn. And so what years was, was this a school? So it was built in the 1800s, um, and then people stopped going to one-room schoolhouses when uh, we were becoming more and more developed and more schools were taking place, you know, more supervisors were coming together, so maybe late into the, the 1920s or 30s. Okay. And I have to ask, right, we're standing, <laughs> we're standing on a stage. We're pretty I, tall. I, I we're feel tall. like, you know, I'm in charge. <laughs> yeah. why, why are we standing on this stage? You're right. Well, if I was the teacher back in the 1800s, I probably wouldn't need it because I'm 5'9". But back in the 1800s, the teachers were a little bit smaller, and some of her students were farm boys who were wicked, wicked tall. So she wanted to be able to project and to look intimidating to her students. And so that's why we're up on a platform here. <laughs> yeah. All about the intimidation Exactly. <laughs> what kind of work went into restoring this? Can you talk a little bit about yeah. what the condition it was in when you started and where yeah. we are now? Of course. So it was just a three-sided shed. Um, the farmers who used this property before my family bought it used it for their machinery. And people had come down and, you know, my mom was saying, I really, really want to restore this. This is a piece of Vermont. We need to keep this history alive. So we restored it thousands of hours. Hundreds of volunteers came out. People from all over Vermont came to pitch in because they wanted to preserve history right here in our local town of Bridport. That's incredible. How can people come visit? They can come visit anytime. The schoolhouse is open 24 hours, seven days a week. So just come on down. If we see you across the way, we'll come over. We'll give you a tour. We'll give you the whole nine yards. <laughs> Erin, we've come back outside in the yeah. cold and the wind. <laughs> have an interesting little story mm -hmm. you were telling us before we got started about this Christmas wreath right here. What is it? Yeah, so earlier I told you anyone can come out and visit the schoolhouse 24 hours a day, and I mean literally. So a couple Christmases ago, actually 10 years ago, my mom heard someone at like 2 o'clock in the morning out by the schoolhouse, and she's like, I know I said they can come any time, but why 2 a.m.? Right. So she hustled out here in her bathrobe, and she was really nervous they were going to steal something. But in fact, all they did was place a beautiful Christmas wreath on the schoolhouse. And every year since, there has been a wreath, and we still don't know who it is. So we'd like to thank our mystery guest, and um, we hope it comes back next year again. You have your own secret Santa. And we do. It's great. It's wonderful. So we're on Route 125 in Bridport. Just in case people are looking for the exact location, go out for that drive, visit this schoolhouse. I, I think it's really cool. Absolutely. Head back to class at this place in Vermont history.